while since I last started the FRS. I think it's been about five or six months. And honestly, I really, really miss this car. I completely forgot we went ahead and did the Starlet headliner. It looks so good, but I can't wait to get this car back to what it was before and start driving it again. Wow, so this is the first time the car's been outside the garage for the past six months. And if you guys couldn't tell from it being dirty, it is absolutely covered in dirt on the side skirts all around the car to be honest the wheels especially i don't really care for these wheels because i'm not going to be running them i have the 18 inch wheels set up on the corner right over there but damn i really really miss this car So we're gonna go ahead and firstly start off with this box right over here. These three boxes I ordered off Amazon. They have a bunch of things inside and I spent about $500 on everything inside of here. And I'm really excited to go ahead and open it up. But before we go ahead and do that, let's talk about the garage for a second. I know it is a mess right now with things everywhere. This is the new garage and I haven't really updated you guys on what's been happening behind the scenes. Now, a big thing is I went ahead and moved houses. I know some of you guys who've been watching the channel for about a year now have seen the old garage. I'll have it up on the screen right now for those of you guys who have no idea what I'm talking about. But that garage wasn't really even a garage. It was a garage that was converted into a room and then back to a garage if that makes any sense. But we went ahead and moved houses and I finally have space for two cars now. Now talking about cars, you guys have probably seen this car in the background. This is not my car, this is a friend's. I'm letting him store it in the garage for winter because he doesn't want to drive it. Same thing with the FRS. The FRS would usually be here, but I pulled it out because we are gonna start unboxing these boxes. So, in the box we got a Oh, that's, that, that's all. These two are a lot bigger than I expected, but I'm pretty happy with this. I needed wash buckets to wash the FRS, so I think these were around $25, $26. I'll have these and everything that I opened today linked in the description below, so if you guys wanna pick them up, definitely use that link. And I got two of these buckets, $26. Let's move on to the next. A bunch of things inside here. Okay, there you go. So first things first, Oh wow, this is smaller than I thought, but it's still a pretty decent size. Uh, this right here is also connected with the buckets. A really good reviewed foam cannon wash. And I saw a couple of good reviews on this, so I went ahead and picked it up. But yeah, it's a bit smaller than I expected, I'm not gonna lie to you. Next, we have a really cheap, but really good reviewed foam cannon. And I'm gonna be putting this to the test today, so hopefully, this is pretty good. I think it just cost me under $40. But there's a lot of expensive foam cannons that are like 100 bucks. This is pretty good reviewed for a $40 foam cannon. Moving on to this, we kind of have a theme going on over here, but moving on to this, I'm hoping it is not green because I ordered a black one. Um, so let's hope this is not green. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up later. And over here, we have a 25 foot pressure washer hose. Now I really want to have a comfortable setup, so I went ahead and ordered this as well. So hopefully we can hard mount everything. And I don't really have to struggle with all the wires and stuff like that. So hopefully that is good. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the biggest package. I'm sure some of you guys can guess what it is. Uh, there's kind of a common theme going on over here.
So some of you guys may have guessed it, but in the biggest box was a pressure washer. Now this is one of Amazon's best reviewed pressure washer and it cost me around $230. I know some of you guys might be thinking that's a little bit expensive for a pressure washer. That's what I originally thought as well. But in my opinion, I'm very happy with the purchase. I'm very happy with the product and I think it's worth the high price. It has a bunch of adjustable tips and you guys can pretty much customize it to however you want to wash your car. It definitely made washing my car a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyable. The old pressure washer that I had was around $50 and it started leaking and there was a bunch of issues. And now that I especially moved into a new garage, I kind of want to get all new equipment and build a garage to the best I can. This video isn't sponsored or anything like that. I'm just genuinely very happy with the product. And if you guys want to go ahead and pick it up, definitely go ahead and pick it up with that link. Same with every single product that we bought today. All of it will be linked in the description below. Now, with that all being said, I'm going to be going and ending off today's video here. But before I go ahead and end off today's video, I kind of owe you guys a bit of an explanation. Now, I've been gone for four, five, six months, and I haven't really uploaded on YouTube. And there's a couple of reasons of why I wasn't able to. Now, to start off, winters over here are very bad, and it's very hard to me to record a video, especially when the FRS is parked up for winter and it's like negative 30 outside. That was kind of the biggest thing. I wish I was able to go ahead and record videos. I also went ahead and bought the Audi to go ahead and modify over the winter, but I ditched that whole entire plan because I don't think I'm going to be keeping the car for long enough. Now, don't get me wrong. The Audi is a car I wanted, and it's a great car. It's very fun to daily drive, but I have a couple of other builds in mind that I want to go ahead and pursue before we go ahead and touch a car like the Audi. And other than that, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, there are so much things that the FRS needs. Now, this whole entire me reviving the FRS, yes, we did wash the car. The FRS definitely needed that. But there's also a couple of other things the FRS needs. First things first, it needs to go to a body shop. There's a bunch of damages all over the car. I'm going to explain that more in the next video. So if you guys want to know what happened, definitely stay tuned for the next video. Now, all that body work is probably going to cost me around two, three thousand to fix. But that's also a big reason why I haven't really been driving the car. That's kind of the biggest reasons on why I haven't really been uploading. But now that the weather is getting better, I have so many more things planned for this car. And I hope all you guys enjoyed the content that is going to be coming. Definitely stay tuned to the next video if you guys want to know what happened with the FRS. And if you guys have made it this far into the video, definitely scroll down and consider subscribing. With that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys all in the next one. Stop till I hear him say oh, oh, la, 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 la.